Dear friends, let's learn some useful tools and options in Visual Studio. For this, I am going to launch my Visual Studio. And once the Visual Studio is open, this is how you can open a project or on the left hand side, you see these options from here also you can open your last open project. So let me use this option at the moment. The moment you do this, it brings you to the location where you have saved your project last time. Now here if you see, I have created around two projects. My first VV project solution is the last project in my video. I'm going to click on this. And then you find something called my first VV project solution dot SLN. If you remember, the dot SLN stands for solution. So this is the file which binds all your codes into one. So all you have to do simply open that one. I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on this and then click on open. The moment you do this, your Visual Studio knows which project to open. And you can see in my background, it's going to open the file. And last time in my last video, we have seen this form that we have designed with a button and the code behind the scene has appeared. Now here, the goal of the video is to show you some of the tools and option that you would like to use it. You need to click on tools and then you see options. Let me click on options. Last time we have learned how you can use the color theme. We have selected to dark. We have tried some of the other options that you know. For me, I do like to keep my window in the blue mode. So let me put it back to blue. Click on OK. So this is of how you change the themes. But here in today's video, I'm going to show you a few more things. What is that? For example, if you see behind the scene, this is the code that we have written yesterday. What if I'd like to change the fonts, colors and things like that? So here you have an option called fonts and colors. Let me select that. And then here, what are these? These are the keywords, right? Private, sub, as object and sub. This is a keyword. What I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down and look for keyword. Okay, so here you can see this has appeared keyword. Now let's say I would like to change the color to some other color. Let's say magneta or lime color, whatever you like. You can just test it out. This all depends on a user choice. The moment I do this, you can see the color has changed. But my recommendation would be to stick to the default one. Let's say you didn't like it. You like to go back. It's quite easy here. All you do click on use defaults and click on OK. It will bring you back to the original defaults. Let's say I would like to change the font color. You have the option here as well. Let me show you some more important options. There's an option here called text editor. Right now in the text editor, if you click on all language. In your code, by default, this code line numbers are coming two, three, four, five like that. Let's say I am not, I do not need them. You can also go to all languages text editor and then click on OK. By doing this, the line number is gone. Sometimes you may want to get it back. It's OK. Go back to the text editor and all languages and I'm going to enable line number. Click on OK. All right. So these are some of the options. There are actually ample of options that you like to try with. Sometimes you like to change uh, the font, uh, text and all those things. Right. So last time, where did we go to the we went to environment and then we went to fonts and colors and you like to change some of the font that you can do it. But mono is what the default one. Let's leave it as it is. It's a personal choice. You can experiment with all these options. There's also another option. Let's say you'd like to save your project to some other location. If you click on this project and solution, and there is something called locations here. Let's say 
this is the project location where it is currently saving under source and repos you would like to save it elsewhere here also you can ensure the project location you can go ahead and change it i will leave as it is at the moment because we will be learning everything from the scratch one by one i am going to leave all these option as it is but again just letting you know these are the options in in my last video i also was telling you sometimes you might not see the toolbox right how do you get the toolbox click on view and then click on toolbox and there's an option here to auto hide or you can also you know pin it these are the options that are available which will be quite easy you do not see a property box how do you get it back right click on it and click on property add a button or something some element and then here you get the property window so these are the some of the customization you can actually experiment go through some of them but ensure you know keeping it default is a good option but again if you like to change something based on your requirement this is where you can come and make changes thank you